In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to change the images on your WordPress pages built using Cornerstone. Very simple. Here we are on our page that we're going to uh, change. This is a Backcountry Tours in Hakaba page for Evergreen Outdoor Centre. Amazing tours, amazing, co amazing company, check them out. We're already logged in here and we're simply going to go up and click Edit with Cornerstone. We let the page open. Depending on your web speed, it will take a varying amount of time. It's usually pretty quick. And here we go. We've got our page on the right. We've got our details on the left for editing. All we need to do is scroll through the page, find what we want to uh, change, uh, click on it and go from there. So the first thing we're going to look at changing is a background image. We've got our section here. We've got our Avalanche Specialist build load on a split board. We're going to click on the section here, we can see our background image and we're going to click on this and uh, Bill is now gone. If we want to change this, we click on plus, we can either choose to upload files if we had something here or we can go to our media library. And for this example I'll use the media library. Um, now for example, let's say we use this one, we just simply click on the image, insert into post, here we go. These guys are sub touring. Uh, we were happy with Bill, we like him, we want him in the background, we're going to come up here. Uh, all our BC images are labelled under the BC tag, so we'll click on here. And uh, there he is, Bill, we'll go back on, insert into post, done. Uh, and second example we're going to use here is uh, images within text. This is an accordion, so we click on here, it pops up here. And this is our box where, we've, where we're going to find our image. We do expand. We'll click visual so we can see what we're doing. Let's say we weren't happy with uh, Ayabarum here. We would remove it. We would click here and we would go up to this icon. Insert media. We'll go back to BC. See what BC images we've got. Oh, this is a pretty good one. People look happy. We click on that. We want to align it to the left. And we want it, this one as a thumbnail. We'll insert into post. Here we go. In this example, we were very happy with Aya, so we're going to click up here. We're going to put her in. Left. We don't need it to link to anything. We're happy with it as a thumbnail. Here we go. She's back in there. When we want to get out of this window, this box, just click on something over here. We'll take you out of it. Now, the last thing these boxes which are image boxes we click on here we've got our source we close it he's now gone we can choose a different image let's say we want Dave in right here with this get in this uh, with these ones we don't need to worry about size okay Dave's up there what's he doing BC skiing and hack cover we'll, use, we'll pull an alt tag there great we don't want a link we're happy with that. Now we've actually got Dave in a different image, so we're going to go back to our other awesome image here. Kevin Crine, we're ripping it. Alt tag BC Kevin Crine. Insert into post. Now what's he doing? He's also BC skiing in Hakaba. We're happy with that. We've got some style options here. We could choose to have it as a thumbnail, which puts a border around it. We could choose to round the edges of the image. We could choose to have it as a circle, which looks a bit weird with these long images. With squares it looks a bit better. In this case we're going to go none. And we're going to save. Okay, content saved. We click on this home, view page. We let the page load. Check that we're happy with everything. We've still got any, everyone in there. We've still got the images we wanted. We've got Kevin over here. I are in here. We're happy. And we can move on to our next task. Thanks for watching.